Before I even ask you a question, Shaq, let me apologize to you on national television, you and the crew. I didn't, listen, I thought that Tom Brady in the box would put up some points. I truly did. Because I wasn't really a real believer in Tampa's, in Kansas City's deep, uh, in Kansas City's defense. But there is no way in hell that I thought that your defense would be able to help hold Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, and the crew to nine points. I, I got to stand down on national television and apologize for my blasphemous behavior, denying y'all, thinking y'all couldn't do that. Congrats on that. Having said that, did you believe that y'all was going to do <laughs> what y'all did to Kansas City's offense coming into that Super Bowl? Coming into the game, we was very confident, but not conceded. We still respected them as a team, but we did know that we could come out there. I didn't think nine points off field goals, getting in the red zone, making them kick them for three. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought it was going to be a little closer of a game, but we was uh, everybody made the plays when it was their time to make the plays, and we all just stepped up, and we was ready to go. Like, our energy on the sidelines, when we was talking on the field, it was just unmatched, and it felt like, they thought it was going to be easy. Feel like there was going to be a game. They thought there was going to be handed to them. You are more than ready. And I just want to point out that I did pick you guys. Okay, so just pat myself on the back she real did. quick. <laughs> she Jack, did. I want to get to she some, did. She some did. of That's the true. NFL news, and then and then we'll get back to your bucks. But I want to get your thoughts on this. So obviously now changing from 16 regular season games to 17, and if things play out as we think, you'd have an extra road game at the Colts. What are your thoughts on that? I, uh, I love playing football. I'm in it for the love of the game. Now that well, I, for the love of the game and to be secure financially. But uh, I just I just love playing football. I want to try to get a record, try to get the record at my position. So another game that's only going to help me in pursuit of my uh, trying to get a sack record. But I, I don't mind. As long as I'm healthy, as long as everybody's healthy, as long as like there's not too many more injuries. You know, people get hurt every game, every week. So it's just got to uh, keep your body health, healthy, mentally ready and ready to go. It's not a big thing to me at all. I'm, I love football. I love playing it. And it could be a game that we need to potentially make it into the playoffs if it was like a season like that. So I don't mind at all. You're every coach. Shaq, I respect the hell out of... I, Shaq, I respect the hell out of Alvin Kamara. I disagreed respectfully with his position uh, about the 17-game schedule because my mentality is guys get injured in football all the time. They get to sit out. I mean, listen, and sometimes you hurt and you can't play, and sometimes you hurt but you could play, but then you might prioritize mm -hmm. not playing one game so you'll be ready for when it really counts. I think you can still find a way to do that in the 17-game season. Just play the 16 damn games and find a game to, to take off while still getting paid. I don't see the problem. Let me go to, let me go to Green Bay. Because one of the things that we made noise about, and I'm guilty of this, I'm guilty of this, Shaq. I thought that if Aaron Rodgers had not had the ball taken out of his hands on fourth down mm. in that NFC Championship game, uh, uh, it's possible we might have saw a different outcome. How shocked were y'all that Green Bay and Coach Matt LaFleur elected to take the ball out of Aaron Rodgers' hands, kick the field goal, knowing that the defense, all they had to do was prevent Tom Brady from getting a first down or two. That's all Tom Brady needed. How shocked were y'all mm -hmm. that Green Bay gave y'all the football back? I was super shocked. I saw guys going off the field like, no, nah, no, nah, come back. They're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. Then I saw the field goal kicking running out. Like, hey, like, we'll take it. <laughs> like, it ain't no like it ain't no guarantee what would have happened if it wasn't went to fourth down, but... I saw the kicker coming out there. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. I got 100% faith in our offense. I know Tom ain't going to give him back the ball. I remember a game early in the year where we had four-minute offense out and we was able to close out on offense. So I was I was super proud uh, of the offense getting out there, being able to do that thing. And I knew, I knew they weren't getting the ball back. Shaq, I have a million other things I want to talk to you about, but we're out of time. But I got one thing I need to know. <laughs> Bruce Arians, to me, exceptional coach, but the man's hysterical. I love the way he does it. So he tweeted a photo of his brand-new Super Bowl tattoo that he promised to get if you guys won. Can you believe he actually got the ink? I, I can believe it because that's the type of guy that he is. Just tell him don't say it again for next year because he's going to have to get another one. Hmm. So y'all winning the next year. Y'all already winning the next year. Hey, to say. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. I got all the confidence in. It's like another year in the system for everybody. It's gonna be good. The camaraderie that we had towards the end of the year. Oh, oh, oh what you biting the fingers for?
Now what you gonna say, I, I, Stephen I, I, I'm A? Just you gonna get on the right side of history <laughs> what, 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 this time? What, what, can I answer? Can I answer, Molly? Can I answer, Molly? I, I was just trying to say nope. I would love to sit up there and doubt it, but but y'all do have a crew. Y'all are returning. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I I. I I, mm -hmm. I, I'm done betting against Tom Brady. I'm done betting yes. against Tom Brady. I'm just done with it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.